Thomas and Friends Storytime Thomas and the Royal Engine A podcast story for kids Starring Thomas the Tank Engine And Duchess the Royal Engine Based on the Railway Series by the Reverend W. Audrey Created by Britt Allcroft Read by Mark Morahan and Friends Today's story is about the time Thomas went to London to see the Queen And how on his journey Thomas met an engine called Duchess, a very special cream-coloured tender engine, with a whistle that sounds like this. So let's begin our story. Thomas and the Royal Engine. It was a sunny afternoon on the island of Sodor, when Percy rushed into Knapford Station with a late mail delivery for Sir Topham Hatt. Percy? Whatever is the matter? Sorry, sir, but there's a very important letter we forgot to deliver to you. Sir Topham Hatt looked at the letter. It was sealed with a special royal stamp. Sir Topham Hatt knew that this was a letter from the Queen. Her Majesty, the Queen, requests the company of Sir Topham Hatt who is to receive a special award for his services to the railway. Hooray! 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 (coughs) Also, by request of the young prince, the engine that brings you to London must be Thomas the Tank Engine. Very early the next day, Thomas went to the washdown, where he was cleaned and polished. Soon his bright blue paintwork shone. Then Thomas's driver hung long red, white and blue banners on Thomas's sides. And Thomas was coupled to a special coach. Thomas looked very smart indeed. Perfect! Sir Topham Hatt met Thomas at Vickerstown Station. The Dowager and Lady Hat and some other engines were there to send them off. Okay, Thomas, let's go! London calls! Bye! Bye, Bye everyone! Hooray! See you! Bye bye! Thomas raced across Vickers Town Bridge and onto the mainland. London, here we come! But Thomas didn't go to the mainland very often and he wasn't sure of the way to London. Soon Thomas was lost, puffing slowly through a dark overgrown forest. This doesn't look right. Thomas, are you sure this is the right way? The prickly bushes and sharp branches scratched Thomas's shiny paintwork and pulled off his red, white and blue banners. Now Thomas wasn't looking so smart anymore. But he was determined to be on time to meet the Queen. Eventually, Thomas found his way back to the main line. OK. Uh-huh. We should be on the right tracks now, sir. <laughs> and then we'll be home and dry. But then there was trouble. A large, fast engine thundered past and splashed through a big, muddy puddle. Thomas was splattered with dirty brown mud. And muddy water flew through the open windows of the coach all over Sir Topham Hatt. (coughs) Sir Topham Hatt looked at his wet and muddy suit and hat. Oh no, I can't meet the Queen looking like this. Thomas continued along the main line, and a little while later, they arrived at a station. The station master was waiting on the platform. Good heavens, what happened to you? Well, we were <clears throat> just... It's a long story. Um, could you tell me where I can get cleaned up? Uh, certainly, sir. This way. And you'd better find a wash down too, Thomas. Uh, hurry back now. Thomas found the washdown a little way down the track. Aha! 
Now I can enjoy a good... But then... Whoopsie! A much bigger engine bumped Thomas away from the washdown and under a nearby coal hopper. Coal poured all over Thomas. Now his paintwork was covered in black coal dust. The engine that had bumped Thomas pulled up beside him. <coughs> Bless you! <laughs> oh, how rude of me! I should introduce myself. My name's Duchess. Duchess of Loughborough. And, and mine's Thomas. Uh, uh, Thomas of Sodor. Now, where was I? Um, did, did I but Are you all right? Thomas could see Duchess look worried. She seemed to have forgotten something. What? Oh, no, there's still so much to be done. Um, getting cleaned, polished, finding my coaches, filling up with coal and water, getting polished, picking up my very important passengers. <laughs> I'm sure I've forgotten something. Oh, did I say getting polished? So Thomas let Duchess use the washdown first. Soon, Duchess's beautiful cream-coloured paintwork was clean and shiny. And it was Thomas's turn. And thank you for letting me go first, Thomas, of Sodor. Bye! At last! But the workman had some bad news for him. Sorry, mate. The water tank's empty. We'll need to refill again before we can wash you. But! Oh! Oh! Thomas didn't have time to wait for the washdown to be refilled. So still covered with mud and coal dust, Thomas collected Sir Topham Hatt, who was still very muddy. Thomas and Sir Topham Hatt carried on towards London. They hadn't gone far when Thomas saw an engine broken down up ahead. It was Duchess, the engine he had met at the washdown. Duchess, what happened to you? Oh, Thomas, my safety valve, it's burst. That's what I forgot to check over before I collected my very important passengers. And now they will be late for their very important appointment in London. <gasps> London? But that's where I need to get to. Then Duchess had an idea. Thomas, that's perfect. If you push me, then I can guide you. Now, are you sure you can push me and my heavy coaches? Don't you worry about me. As I always say, little engines can do big things. <laughs> yes, they certainly can. So Thomas pushed Duchess and her heavy coaches all the way to London. At the station, Thomas pulled up at the platform next to Duchess. Thank you for helping me, Thomas of Sodor. That's quite all right. Thank you for helping me. Sir Topham Hatt stepped onto the platform. We made it! <laughs> Only five minutes left. He looked at his muddy, wet and crumpled clothes. Oh, oh, I just hope there's a tailor here at this station. Then Sir Topham Hatt spotted a large golden crest shaped like a crown above Duchess's buffer. <gasps> Thomas, do you know what train you've rescued? Oh, a very heavy one. It's the Royal Train. What? Shh. Just then, the Queen stepped gracefully from the Royal Coach, followed by her very excited Royal Son. Mother, look! It's Thomas! Sir Topham Hatt? <laughs> Your Majesty. Duchess began to explain how Thomas had pushed them all the way to London. They were very kind, ma'am. And Thomas here helped to ensure we got here on time. Well, said Topham, from what my son has been reading in the books written about it, your Northwestern Railway is well known for helping out those in need. Oh, thank you, ma'am. And now, Sir Topham, because we've already had so much confusion and delay, why don't we do the ceremony right here? Here? But, but Your Majesty, I'm, I'm a mess! And you got that way by proving yourself worthy of this special award. 
for your services to the railway. And the Queen gave Sir Topham Hatt a magnificent gold clock. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. And Thomas, gallant Thomas, who went out of his way to help an engine in need, it is my pleasure to present to you a special crest, signifying to all that you have truly been, if you don't mind me saying, a royally useful engine. The young prince placed a large and very important looking medal on Thomas. Thomas felt very proud and he beamed from buffer to buffer. The end. Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime. Parents, if you like what you heard, please leave us a review and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts. Tell your friends too. Thomas and Friends is a registered trademark of Galane Thomas Limited.